What's up, y'all? Roll Call with Karina Nistal, episode 31. Nice. And I'm here with my good friend, Philip Garcia, who is uh, a really cool local artist. Like, he's been doing his thing for, what, like 12, 13 years now? At least, but yeah. the, the inspiration and the passion has always been there. But yes. Recently, you know, I've been more inspired uh, just to share my art and help others in many ways so the future is bright and yes. uh, we're looking forward to everything to come absolutely so for those of for for those of you that don't know philip can you give them a brief introduction on who you are and what you do sure well like i was saying i've always had a passion for art and photography uh it actually was instilled in me when i was young i was able to travel with family all across the country and my uncle was a photographer. So I would bring my camera along and try to be like him. <laughs> and little did I know that it would lead me around the world to be able to experience cultures and the people in a different way than I ever imagined. And uh, through photography and digital art, um, now you know we're, we're moving forward to the future to share art with the world and, and it's definitely local. Yeah, so when I met Phil, he was part of a duo called Playalistic, which you're yeah. actually still in my phone as <laughs> Playalistic Phil. Nice. Um, and we've known each other a really long time, but like you actually do music production as well. I do, and uh, it's something that I'm looking to get back into. I recently have been really inspired uh, with the creative juices flowing, and uh, now, you know, I got to get back on that music grind. And yes. Yeah, more to come on that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I would like to say that you were born and raised in Houston, right? Uh, my heart has always been in Houston, but yes. I was actually born in Texas City, Texas, down okay. on I-45. Yeah. And I went to Still school. Houston. Yeah, it's Houston area. <laughs> yes. But uh, I went to school in Lamarck. I grew okay. up there and, uh, you know, I moved with family to the valley, so I've been a little bit everywhere yes. around Texas, so I'm a true Texan, but yeah. uh, now I like to look at it as I'm a global citizen. You so, are, yeah. So now um, I'm just international, but I definitely want to take care of local, you know. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of things I, I want to touch down on. Um, I've been to two of your shows now, and I've been really impressed. I love not only the work that you're pushing out but just the way the the inspiration that goes behind it you could tell that there's a lot of thought that goes into what philip is doing and i really appreciate that as an artist you can appreciate another artist that puts a lot of thought into what they do um your travels you mentioned you're a citizen of the world uh tell us about some of the places that you visited that like really had an impact on you see i came prepared <laughs> This there book, we go. this book here is I've I made previous books, yes. but this is the first book that featured pictures that I was truly proud of. Yeah, and I was able to show them at my Art League of Baytown and join and become a member with this book. Yeah, just showed them it I was stuff from my international travels. Yes, and uh, you know just been to Europe, Asia different stuff yeah. all over the US but this is you know stuff from New York Miami yes I took this on an actual trip visiting you nice. you sure did in LA it was some I street remember art, that. some street art in the neighborhood where you were at yes and uh it really stuck with me for sure yeah and this is some more street art I really fell in love with photography when I started documenting street art yeah most of this is probably gone now it's, uh, it's true. painted over we it pasted quickly. over yeah this is one of my favorite pieces i actually am london. in the this is in in london at a place called balance society and um they have multiple uh, restaurants there yes but this was going down to uh at the basement to the restroom okay and i was so captivated yes this is a, a lamp in a random stairwell to the restroom and i couldn't believe the beauty and that's something that i love to capture yes the beauty and the everyday and right. we just are so focused 
on you know what's going on in our lives we don't take time to stop and just take in the beauty that's around us and right. that's that's my purpose now that i see yes to capture that around the world chicago the bean yeah the bean Paris and the, uh, the so metro. You're, you're showing us your book like is this something that we could buy online like tell us where can we find this kind of work because there might be some viewers that are really interested in oh that's great like all know. right sure well this was actually made as a personal treasure really because okay. every time that I need some inspiration or you know life is hard yeah we go through a lot of tough times right uh, I reached for this book, and it reminds me that there's a bigger world outside of Houston, yes. outside of Baytown, and there's there's more to experience, and there's people yeah. to help everywhere. So okay. it's just, you so know. It's kind of like your personal memorabilia. Yes, but I do have a website. It is being updated. Okay. But it's my same as my Instagram, Art Life Repeat, RPT. Art Life Repeat. Oh, here we go. Wait, <laughs> see, I didn't even think about that. Thank you. Art Life Repeat. So yes. this is your Instagram handle. Mm -hmm. Your it's the website. Facebook too? Not I yet. need my uh, digital yeah. uh, marketer with yes, me. So yes. that's what uh, <laughs> we're, we're looking at the future and we're expanding. And you have so. these totes as well, which I love. Yes, so those yes. those are on the website, but like I said, it's under construction yes. for now. Just if you want to keep updated with yeah. everything going on, for sure, the Instagram Art Life RPT. Yes. Uh, when I created that, um, you know, I was inspired by by a music event. Okay. And the next, I had a dream when I woke up. That was in my brain. Yeah. And my dad, I mentioned it to my dad, and he was like. What does that mean? I'm like, art life, RPT. Yeah. I'm like, it means art life repeat. And he yeah. was like, why don't you just put repeat? So I'm like, well, you're asking me more about it now. Yeah. So it makes people interested. They're right. interested in seeing what is that? Exactly. What is that? Yeah, and I didn't then, know it was repeat until now. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. He was like, nobody's going to know what you're talking about. But I'm like, yeah, but it, it interests them. And be like, yeah. what is that? So it just stuck, and now, you know, big things are happening for the brand. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're going worldwide with things. Mm -hmm. what, um, what was your personal favorite place to visit? Like, the first thing that comes to mind, don't even think hard about it. It was Belgium. Belgium, small okay. small town called Ghent. Ghent. Uh, you know, I, I took a trip there to Europe, you know, a while back. And uh, I flew into Paris, okay. and I, I just did this whole trip through Europe, and I, I look forward to going back. But just so happens that I heard about this small village in Belgium. Uh, everybody was like, "Oh man, you gotta try the beer and this and that." But little did I know that they have a an amazing art scene. Yeah, it's been uh, a village that artists from Europe and all over would flock to okay. because of the beauty. And I believe I have a picture in the book. To show. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. Oh, we definitely got to show this one. <laughs> oh, you remember this? Of course I remember this. Oh, my God. The first <laughs> trip. <home. laughs> the first trip to uh, experience L.A., Karina definitely was the most hospitable <laughs> person you could ever imagine you are always a great guest too like always came with fun came with activities or just open like hey wherever you want to take me for sure a lot of awesome memories and i i told you before that i was inspired on that first trip and it, it made me more of an artist you know and now i'm very thankful for that Aww, and I'm so um, glad. this is actually in that city oh there's ghent so it's j g H E N T Ghent. Well, that's like the English version, but okay. there's different ways that they say it. Some people see it, say G E N T. Yeah. But uh, it was about an hour train from Brussels. Oh wow. The okay. capital. But this is a a marketplace. Wow. And it looks like the inside of a piano or something. Yeah. But I was so mesmerized. I took like an hour just taking every angle. This is the the ceiling of the structure. Yes. I have so many pictures of it, but I was just captivated by the colors, the design, and it was something I've never seen designed yeah. like that. 
The architecture is so beautiful in Europe, you know, it's like... It truly is. Yeah. Um, I know that picture's in here somewhere. I I should know this book by heart, but <laughs> this is also in Belgium. This was in nice. Brussels, though. Everybody asked like me. a little makeshift trumpet. <laughs> and you could walk up these steps and you could actually scream into it, whatever oh, you want to cool. do. But okay. I was tight on time. I, yeah. will, I will be back there one day to make sure a, a, a viral video uh, yeah. of me trying it out. This was also in Ghent. Okay. A random photo. Uh, uh, you know, I was out having a good time. And uh, I decided, like I do here now, to go out into the city and get lost. Uh, yeah. Turn off the GPS. Turn off the Google Maps and just take pictures of random things that catch my eye. I love to take pictures of colorful items and uh, just random designs. And this this is not edited. This was the lighting that was there on this random building by the, the condo I was staying yeah. at in Ghent. Okay. And it was so beautiful. This is one of the main inspirations on, on that, that, that city that I say, you know, the pictures I got from there they just hold so many memories and, yes. and so much inspiration. And uh, I don't want to lie and say that I had another picture, but you know, <laughs> I I have it somewhere. But we'll, it definitely is on the website. Yeah. It's also, I believe, on the Instagram. But so, what do you have coming up? Because I know you have shows like quarterly, right? Well, the way with uh, you know, because I have a full time nine to five, so. I, I get in my art when I can and help others when I can. Yeah. But um, the way it's worked out is, uh, you know, a year after I joined the art gallery that I'm at at, and at the Art League of Baytown, um, you know, after one year of being a member, I was able to uh, put that first show on. Yeah. And then, you know, you know every, we know everything that happened, you know, in 2020. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, no show that year. So... I went on 2021 was the second one and I learned from the first experience. I learned from that second experience in 2021. And this year was like a celebration, you know, mm -hmm. all the learning and all, all the experiences and you were a part of that I had <laughs> inspiration to, you know, just be creative, Yeah. put yourself out there and, uh, you know, don't be afraid of, uh, you know, rejection. You know, if you right. have something in your heart, yeah. You know, you're not a failure if you try and it doesn't work out the way you want. Share your message. You, you just have to share it yes. and not give up. And then, you know, you're not a failure. You're just learning. Exactly. And that's exactly. Failure is the mother of success. So. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But definitely um, looking to have more events, you know, closer together. Not every, yeah. not every two years, but, you know, closer together. You know, we have a few things in the works. Uh, before year's end and then the future is just going to get even bigger and better. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so can you run down your handles one more time? Sure. And then if you have some shout outs. For sure, for sure. So my Instagram, which currently is, you know, probably the best way to keep in touch. In case anyone wants to book you. Hey, there you go. <laughs> DM for, uh, you know, artwork or uh, I'm open to collab on whatever. So it's Instagram at ArtLifeRPT. And then the website, same thing, ArtLifeRPT.com. And uh, we'll update with the uh, future socials and, you know, you know, we'll see what the future holds. Definitely. And what about shout outs? Like I, I met your, well, I, I'd seen your dad before, but I met your dad also again Definitely. at the show. Definitely. Um, and you're always surrounded by positive energy and good people that support you. For sure. Any shout outs? Well, I, I have a shout out dad and <laughs> RIP mom. I know she's Aww. by my side. Yes, she uh, is. And I, I felt their she's presence. She's shining through you. Yeah, I feel her You've presence. You've gotten a lot and, more bold. Hey, you know what? Yes. I, had, I had to break out of my shell at some it. point. And, I love uh, it. I love it's it. It's going to continue, you yes. know, because now I see my purpose. Yes. You know, I was always with that passion, but now I have a purpose for the passion. Exactly. And uh, definitely here, not just to share art, but to share love with the community. Yes. And uh, spread positive messages and just inspiration. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Follow Philip, guys, um, at Art Life RPT. 
I'm oh. going to put all the socials at the end of the video. And I forgot. I can't. I wouldn't be the artist I am today if it wasn't for the Art League of Baytown. Yes. I do want to shout them out and yes. all my fellow artists that have helped me grow. I hope to think that we have grown together by me being a part of it. Uh, but they have definitely helped me grow. They're uh, also on Instagram at Art League of Baytown and also artleagueofbaytown.com. Okay. And shout out to Ryan. Ryan, you can't forget, <laughs> he was also on the first trip of yes, that picture at yes, uh, Venice Beach. Yes. And we had the the best time seeing Absolutely. the Rock the Bells. That, yeah, that. we did. We and Sade. Sade, John Legend, if oh, you yeah. forgot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely got to take in some beautiful art and some amazing music. And it was such an inspirational trip. Uh, but yes, yeah, shout out Ryan. Together, me and him are also doing big things. Yes, so. absolutely. Well, thank you guys for joining. And um, I hope to have you back at some point. To, for sure. To We're going to have to do an update video yes. to let y'all know of how these new events coming up are going to go. Yes. And also, you know, what's in the future for Baytown, for Houston, and for worldwide. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, follow, and I'll see you at the next episode. Peace. Peace.